This is the Sony Bravia X80K, the successor to the very popular and high-selling X80J. This is a 4K HDR smart TV from Sony that is undeniably very premium, extremely feature-rich and costs a fair amount too. Is this the most premium TV experience you can get around a lakh? Let's find out. But before I start, make sure you hit that like button and let us know in the comments down below if you'd like to see more TV reviews on this channel. The Bravia X80K doesn't break any new ground in terms of design, but it looks very elegant and sleek overall. The bezels on the front are incredibly thin to make content very immersive. They also sit completely flush with the screen. You can mount this on the wall or use it on a desk with the included metal feet. The TV itself is made entirely out of plastic, which is well put together and seems strong enough. In terms of connectivity, you get four HDMI ports along with support for audio return channel, which lets you output sound to speakers or a soundbar through HDMI itself. But there's also an optical audio port if you prefer that, along with two USB ports, one of which is USB 3.0 and an ethernet port. The inputs are all side facing and reasonably easy to access even when the TV is mounted on a wall. Do note that there's no 3.5mm audio jack here, which earlier Sony TVs did include, so you'll have to go wireless for using headphones. For wireless connectivity, you also get Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 4.2. The remote has also been redesigned this year and gets this really nice textured finish on the front. It's really slim and very easy to use. We'll get to all of its functions in a bit. There are, by and large, two components that dictate picture quality in a TV. The first, of course, is the panel. This is an IPS LCD panel with a 3840x2160 or 4K resolution. The contrast on this panel is not amazing, the black levels are certainly not like the kind you'd see with an OLED, but for an IPS panel at this price point, they're pretty good. It also has wide colour gamut coverage and it uses Triluminous Pro technology which can make the colours look more vivid and lifelike. The second component that determines picture quality is the image processor. The Sony X1 processor inside this handles content upscaling, which is to say you can input a 1440p, 1080p or even a 720p signal and the TV will make it look decent on this huge 4K display. This YouTube video, for example, is playing at 1080p, but looks really sharp and clear. I don't have a satellite TV connection in this room, but regular SD channels should also look fine. The X1 processor also lets Sony do some very fancy things with fancy names like object-based HDR remastering or super bit mapping, but rest assured the end result is a great picture overall. The panel also supports HDR10, HLG and Dolby Vision standards, so if your source has any form of HDR at all, this TV can show it. Dolby Vision also automatically sets the colour profile, which makes things like the recent Season 4 of Stranger Things all that much better to watch. The viewing angles for this TV are amazing. Even if I'm sitting on this couch, almost completely perpendicular to the TV, I can easily watch whatever's going on with great clarity and with very little colour shift. So if your room arrangement has a lot of seats that aren't directly in front of the TV, this will still look good. Also, in what is a really nice touch, the TV will automatically adjust the display's brightness according to the ambient light level in your room. It's the little things that really matter at the end of the day. For audio, the X80K uses a two-channel audio system with 20 watt total output. These are what Sony calls X-Balance speakers, which means they are asymmetrically shaped to provide the best performance in both highs and lows while maintaining a slim form factor. In terms of performance, they get really loud and are really good at representing mids and highs, but the low end is a bit lacking. It's enough for general TV news and sports, but for more immersive content like movies or music, I would recommend pairing this with external speakers. The Sony Bravia X80K is not a TV purpose built for gaming, but it does a decent job. If you have a PS5, the console and the TV have some special synergy features between them, which I could not test out because Sony did not send me a PS5 to test them out with. My PS4 Slim connects just fine though and the TV will automatically detect that you are connected to a gaming console and switch to the auto low latency or game mode. This should also work with Xbox consoles. It has excellent input lag performance so you won't have any problems with laggy controls. The response time however is not the fastest so sometimes you will see motion blur behind fast moving objects like the ball in FIFA. This is something only pro players will notice and this TV works great for all sorts of casual gaming because of the excellent picture and sound quality. I had the time of my life playing titles like Uncharted 4 on this TV. You do, however, miss out on some HDMI 2.1 features like the variable refresh rate. The Bravia X80K runs the slick new Google TV interface on top of Android 10. 
The most notable thing about this interface is that it is extremely fast. Usually, inbuilt operating systems on smart TVs tend to be a little slow, but not on the X80K. Along with the extremely responsive interface, you also get all the fancy Google TV features like recommendations from your subscribed OTT apps, the ability to use your phone as a remote, and all of that. You also, of course, have access to the complete Play Store and all of the 70,000 plus apps and games that brings. If a smart TV app exists, it can probably be used on this TV. The interface is really intuitive and easy to use. I I really appreciate that there is zero Sony bloatware on top of Android TV here, so if you've used any version of this platform before, you'll be right at home. I quite like the quick settings menu you can access by typing this button right here on the remote, which brings up a list of the most important settings which you can change without leaving the video app that you're in. The TV also gets 16 GB onboard storage, which should be enough to ensure that you never run out of space to download apps. For storing movies and music, you can connect an external hard drive to the USB ports, of course. If you prefer streaming your own content, this TV has an inbuilt Chromecast receiver and supports Apple's AirPlay, so you can cast just about any sort of content to it, which all works effortlessly without any issues. If you're the sort of person who likes talking to their TV, this does also support Google Assistant. You can access Assistant by holding down this button on the remote, and it works really fast and is good at recognizing recognizing what you're trying to say. Or you can use the far field mic on the TV and just speak at it from anywhere in the room and it'll pick that up. If you don't want your TV listening to you all the time, you can quite easily turn the mic off using a hardware switch. Sony's Bravia X80K lineup starts at Rs 99,900 for the 43-inch model, while this 55-inch model will cost you Rs 1,29,900. While this is a lot of money, when it comes to the high-end TV market, these are still fairly low prices. For this price, the X80K provides a lot of premium features, along with very good picture quality, making it fantastic value for money. Be it sports, movies, or even games, the X80K definitely handles anything that you throw at it.